Hi, welcome to IELTS Mark Speaking Test. Can you tell me your full name, please? My full name is Alina Kuramatova. Mm -hmm. What shall I call you? Uh, you can just call me Alina. Uh -huh. Alina, can I see your ID, please? Yeah, sure. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Here you are. Thanks. So, Alina, do you work or are you a student? I actually do both. I work part-time and I also study. Uh -huh. Good, so welcome to IELTS Mark Speaking Test. Uh, speaking test consists of three parts in the IELTS, as you know. So we'll start from the part one, which will be about some general questions about yourself. Are you ready to begin? Yeah, sure. Okay, good. So, first, can we talk about uh, your relaxation? So what do you do to relax? Um, when I feel extremely exhausted, I like to read some books, mystery books. I also like to listen to music or to clean my room. It actually helps me to relax. Mm -hmm. And do you think doing sports is a good way to relax? Actually, this can be a good way to relax, but for me, a sport is a stress. So for me, it's not a way to relax. Mm -hmm. Do you think vacation is a good time for you to relax? Um, yes, but it depends on the type of vacation uh, you do. For example, there are active vacation types, and I don't think that you have rest during this time. Mm -hmm. What about another type? Uh, but if you like lay on the beach, uh, just drinking your cocktails and do nothing, that's probably re relaxation. Um, do you think students need more relaxing time? Um, obviously, yes. I'm a student myself and I know that I spend a lot of time on studying, on uh, doing my academic life and I actually need a lot of time to relax, to recover from my really hard tasks and assignments. Good. Uh -huh. So now let's talk about going out. Uh, mm -hmm. How often do you go out with your friends or with your siblings? Um, I work and study a lot, so I tend to go out at least one time a week. Uh, it's usually on weekend. And what do you like to do when you're uh, out? Um, I <laughs> like watching movies, I like just walking in the parks or to go ice skating and I also like to try new foods when I'm out with my friends and or family. Mm -hmm. And do you prefer going out on your own mm -hmm. or with your friends? I used to like going out with my friends because I'm like a social person. Uh, but now I also like to go out alone. For example, yesterday I went to the walk by myself and it was an amazing time. I, I will repeat it one more time soon. Mm -hmm. And where do most young people like to go out in your country? Mm, youngsters tend to go out to parks, um, shopping malls or to go to some amusement parks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now let's talk about happiness. Are you a happy person? Um, I can say that I'm a happy person because I found my happy place, happy people and things that make me happy generally. I see. And what usually makes you happy? Um, first of all, that's a good food, a good company. I mean people that can actually keep up with conversation with me mm -hmm. and also good atmosphere. For example, when I come home and my uh, room is, is clean and my bed sheets are so clean and ready. So yes. Okay. And does the weather ever affect how you feel? Yes, definitely it affects if the weather is uh, cloudy like today, I feel very sad and um, somehow depressed, not depressed but depressed and I tend to be less productive, less effective. Uh, the only thing I want to do is just lay down on my bed and do nothing. I see. And what makes you feel unhappy? Um, when something goes wrong. I'm a person that plans everything and when my plans just don't go the way I, pl I plan them, I feel just very upset. <laughs> I see. And do you think people in your country are generally happy? Um, yes, our people in my country, in Uzbekistan, they are usually very happy, hospitable, very um, friendly to each other, so yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. This was the end of our part one. Now let's turn to part two. Mm -hmm. In the part two, I will give you a card and a pen to make notes. You will have one minute time to prepare for a specific topic and then two minutes to talk about it. So your topic is to describe a time you made a promise to someone. Here's the card and the pen, you have one minute. Mm. Can I 
conversation is start. Yeah, sure. You have two minutes to talk. Don't worry if I stop you, okay? Please okay. begin. So I'm not a person who makes a lot of promises because I know that they're really hard to keep. I know that some promises are really easy to break, so I just tend to, to, make, uh, to make promises that I'm sure that I will keep. So the one promise that came to my mind when I heard this topic was the promise I, I made to my parents a long time ago when I just started my education. Um, when I just went to um, school, I was a very little girl who was uh, so happy to start a new chapter of her life and I was so interested in what will happen to me in the future. And I made promise to my parents that I will study hard and that I will achieve all of my goals. I had a lot of goals when I was young, when I uh, just entered the first uh, grade at school. Um, I just said to my parents that I will uh, be a successful person, I will study my best. And I actually, actually I uh, did my best to keep this promise. I finished school with honors. I finished academic lyceum with good grades. Um, and I, Sometimes I felt very down, I didn't know what to do because my studies were extremely hard because I made myself think that it's hard and I, d I just put a lot of things on myself and sometimes I felt really uh, pressed uh, because I couldn't uh, get a good uh, grade or something and um, I just remembered my younger self that said to my parents that she will do everything to achieve her goals and my goals were, goals were very big i wanted to become a very rich and successful woman i wanted to move to another country i wanted to learn english very good because i started learning english when i was in first grade and my mom said that it will be a good opportunity for you to discover new places new people and i said that i will do my best to learn this language so i can be um, friends with people all around the world. Mm -hmm. which Thank was... you. And do you think you have achieved your goal? Uh, yes, definitely, because I had a lot of uh, academic achievements. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you. I'll take my paper and pen back. So now let's move on to part three. So in the part three, I will give you a few questions to further discuss our part two. What do you think? Do Uzbek parents make a lot of promises to their children? Um, probably they do not make promises, but they make them make promises. <laughs> they tend to say like, you should study hard, you should uh, do this, this. They just put a lot of responsibilities on them. But I have never actually heard that parents, Uzbek parents make some real significant promises that I can mention now. Oh, I see. And are most people able to fulfill their promises, in your opinion? Um, I cannot say that most people can, because it depends on person, their characteristic traits, their personality. Some people tend to make a lot of promises and they break them, they don't really care about. They just live in the moment and they say, yeah, I promise that I will make it to you, that I will help you, and they don't do it afterwards because um, that's how they work, how the people live. But uh, in my life, I was lucky to meet a lot of people who uh, kept their promises. They did what they said. Mm -hmm. And how do you feel when others break their promises? Um, actually, I feel betrayed. This is a very sensitive topic for me because I feel really Mm, sad and as I said betrayed when people don't keep their promises because when a person promises something to me I feel like they will do this I believe in this and uh, when they don't keep it um, it just breaks my expectations I feel absolutely let down okay thank you this was the end of our IELTS speaking mock test thank, thank you for you. your participation good luck for your exam thanks so the feedback session, uh, this candidate has uh, performed in an outstanding way. Uh, the fluency coherence, uh, I've put eight because uh, she has a very good fluency and coherence uh, in her speaking uh, because uh, her repetition, self-correction is in a minimal rate and her hesitation is almost unnoticeable and even if it's noticeable, it's uh, occasionally content related, no language related hesitation has been noticed and uh, the 
topics are developed in a logical way, which is uh, very common uh, for among the eight score candidates. Regarding lexical resource, I've put eight because uh, she has a wide range of vocabulary resources and topic related resources. Uh, she tries to use collocations and uh, uh, rarely idioms, uh, which is also a common feature of eight band candidates. Regarding the grammar range and accuracy, I've put eight because she, she uses a wide variety of uh, structures flexibly and uh, her error-free sentences are a lot. I mean, uh, her error-free sentences uh, outweigh the uh, erroneous sentences. Therefore, it is more a common feature of band seven and eight uh, candidates. Uh, but also, they are, uh, her mistakes are usually uh, non-systematic errors, which is a common feature of band 8 rather than band 7. Therefore, I've decided to put it 8. And pronunciation, uh, she has a few pronunciation errors. Uh, and also, uh, she, her language 1 accent has a minimal impact on, the, on her pronunciation. Therefore, uh, it is 8, uh, but she was able to show uh, the pronunciation of individual sounds, words, and sentences. It was clear the sentence stress was done in a perfect way. Therefore, it is also eight. And overall score is eight for this candidate.